course, our star performer in the new leaves is this dwarf Hawaiian. Uh, it is just loaded with new growth. The other one does not have new growth. So chances are the first dwarf Hawaiian of the year, the fruit is gonna be from the other tree. And hopefully this one will produce a lot of fruit just a little bit later. So it's about a week later and already the new leaves on this dwarf Hawaiian have matured, but they're not fully mature. They've gotten older. But it's certainly easy to tell which of the leaves are new and which are older. They're a lighter green. It's the basic thing from a distance, but they're also a little bit more flexible. So who doesn't love a good experiment? <laughs> this particular tree it should be on a different fruiting schedule, but I want to do a little experiment with a part of the tree. And the experiment is cutting off the new growth to see how that affects the fruiting. Uh, certainly with lychee and a lot of fruit, if you cut off the new growth at the right time, uh, you can actually get flowers on the old growth. So I'm hoping that this shows like a difference in flowering. Dwarf Hawaiian is one of those varieties that flowers sort of enthusiastically. Uh, it doesn't take much for the, the trees to flower. I'm noticing some new flowers over on the other Dwarf Hawaiian right now. And so it could be happening with this tree if only it wasn't flushing with new growth. So I'm taking off the new growth out of one section I don't love experiments so much that I want to climb an eight-foot ladder to take the new leaves off the top of the tree. So we'll do a section that I can reach standing on the ground and uh, we'll see what happens as far as the fruiting season of that particular part of the tree versus the rest of the tree. So this is what has happened. Uh, of course we have a very woody branch here, but these uh, green sort of olive green shoots are fairly woody. It, they're very inflexible and then we have the very flexible new growth. This is, you know, like will snap off practically. Yep, there we go. Snap. Um, so it's this growth that I want to take off and so I'm just going to snap, snip, Oops. This is what I'm taking off. It's faster if I break them off. <laughs> Only the big ones apparently do I need this step. Yep, snapping is definitely the way to go.
it seems like I got them all from this one section of the tree. Uh, it's a smaller section than I thought I would do, but there are a lot of things to snap off on these. Uh, so anyway, we've got our little uh, decoration on the ground of all these young leaves. And we will watch this particular area to see what the timing of the fruit and, well, of course, the flowering also is going to work out to be.